Hello everybody and welcome back. If you're not subscribed and you like seeing just an absolute ton of shrimp, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in this video, I'm going to go over all of my mixed Caradina tanks. I'll try not to make the video too long, but there is some important facts that I should go over. And so let's get into it. Starting off with my crystal reds. The reason for this is because this is where all of my wine reds came from originally. I was lucky enough to where the breeder of this colony of crystals had bred them with wine reds somewhere along the lines. And what that means for me is that I get bonus wine reds from this colony that is already giving me just an absolute ton of babies. These, these shrimp breed amazing for me. And to throw in wine reds on top of it is a pretty amazing bonus. My goal was to pull out the 20 shrimp that I got from the start, but now that I'm up to about 400 shrimp in here, I really don't think that's possible. Now I have noticed that some of my shrimp will turn a little bit pink when they're buried. And I'm thinking that those are the ones that are giving me my wine reds. I can't be 100% on this, but it's the only, there's only a few shrimp in here that will turn pink. But anyways, back on track, what I was doing with all of my wine reds that I was getting out of here, which would average about one every couple weeks or so, I was putting them in separate tanks and that's kind of where my mixed journey started. This is my first tank that I started breeding mixed Caradina in. What I did was I took about 15 of my wine reds that I was getting out of my crystal red shrimp tank and I added a shrimp called a tang tai. A tang tai is a tangerine tiger that has been crossed with a Taiwan bee. The ones that I got had already been crossed a couple of times and they were crossed with a black King Kong. I think that's why my black shrimp tank is doing much better than my red as far as the patterns go. But I would have to say that this tank has been the most fun when it comes to finding babies. Every now and then I'll find shadow pandas and pandas and wine reds and it's just like the fun never stops. Now when I do get into my other tanks, which I'm going to do here in just a minute, what I've been doing is I've been waiting for all of these shrimp to get big enough to determine whether they're male or female. I've been taking out my, I wanna say the coolest pattern females, and then I've been crossing them back with Taiwan bees again. That's what I've been doing on the other side of the room, and I'm gonna get into those tanks in just a minute. Like I said before, my wine reds are just a little bit behind the black tank below it. And now I did add about four or five of the tang tai with the best patterns that I could find, the females. And so far, most of them are buried in here, so I have to wait maybe a couple more weeks for babies. And I absolutely have no clue what I'm going to get out of them. And now those tang tie that I put in here were originally bred with the males that are in this tank. And I did that in the 15 gallon that I showed earlier. And so I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to get something, but that's the whole point of this series is that way I can go through my trials and errors of doing this. Um, it's not really common for people to mix their tigers and their Taiwan bees, but it is getting more common. And now I could, I could essentially just buy the shrimp that I want to have in my tanks, but then to me there's no fun in that. I mean, to me it's all about breeding and how do you get from point A to point B. Now when it comes to the black tank, now this is where all of my really cool patterns are starting to show up. And there are a few leftover crystal reds in here. Don't mind those, those are from when... I was, about a month after this tank was cycled, I decided to put some crystal reds in here and that just ensures me that the tank is fine. I kind of like my crystal reds to breed in a tank before I add anything else to it. Because it just kind of shows me that the tank is stable. But anyways, getting back on track, these are my first successful patterned shrimp. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to breed them back with the tang tie. And so far I've had one batch of babies and I do see a few dark shrimp. They're a little bit too small to tell what kind of patterns they have on them. 
Uh, but there are a couple of buried Tang Tai, and I think there's one buried Black Shrimp. Now, I, don't, I just call them Black Shrimp because I really don't know exactly what they're called. Now, the reason why I don't mix my red and my black shrimp together is because I've been told time and time again that if you mix like a panda with a wine red, most of the offspring will be panda. The black is going to be your dominant gene. And so that's why I, if, if you do plan on mixing shrimp like this, it's pretty nice if you have a, a few tanks set up for selective breeding. Because if you start to get shrimp you don't really want and you can't get rid of them right away, then, I mean, you really have nowhere to put them. So that just kind of leaves you with a tank full of shrimp that you don't want. And now I am going to be setting up a few more tanks for these because now I want to start selectively breeding color and now I'm going to start selectively breeding patterns. And I'm going to do the same thing in the red tank above it. Um, I do have to set up a couple of more tanks, which are in the future anyways. And so I hope everybody enjoyed this video. It's kind of a learning curve for me too. So if you want to learn more about mixing Caradina, stay tuned to this series and be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and cheers.